Today, I'm going to show you how to make an adorable upside down hanging bat pendant. Still on that Halloween kick from the ghost video. So, you're going to need some sort of press. I use a pedal press, but you absolutely have to have some sort of pressing tool for this video. So we're just going to jump right in and get started. First, I'm going to work on the head. And right now I'm just using a CFL gray to purple color. You can use a gray, you can use a blue, you can use a purple. But I wouldn't use any colors other than that unless you're really wanting to go funky with it. First, I'm just going to round the tip of the rod for the top of his head. Do my cold seal. I'm just going to make a small teardrop shape. I'm going to try to work it pretty small because these bats are going to be necklace pendants. So we don't want them too big. I like to work really tiny for comfort. And I'm just making this teardrop shape and pulling it I'll show you all up close in just a second. Pull it up to give him a little snout. So we're just going for this little curved teardrop shape. And on the very tip of that teardrop, I'm just going to give it a little tiny pink nose. It gives him some character. Little tiny dot of pink, you don't need much. So he's got a cute little pink nose. And then I'm just going to give him some tiny little eyes. I'm using a, a little bit of blue leprechaun for the eyes because I like to make the eyes have a little sparkle. I just go real simple. Two little dots. And I'm just flipping him around to where my cold seal is actually going to be under his chin now. That way I can work on his ears. So now you should have something that looks like that. A little bat face. And bats have some pretty cute ears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this small stringer of the same color as the head. I'm going to melt one little stick of it on one side and another little stick of it on the other. And it looks like a bunny rabbit. Then I just melt those into a little glob. They're going to look kind of like teddy bear ears for a minute. And I do them one at a time. So I'm heating up the left one right now. And then I'm going to squish it. And it's going to look like a mouse ear. There's a trick to getting these cute pointed ears that I like to use. And it's just, I get mouse ears first. And then I heat up that mouse ear really hot. Not too hot to where it starts losing its shape, but just to where it's glowing. Bright red because it gives it a sticky tacky consistency. And I stick it to a piece of 3 mil and just pull it forward. And it gives it a really nice, natural, pointed, curved shape. Gives them a little character. There we go. 
And there's your little bat head. Ears, eyes, nose. And then we're just going to leave him resting in the kiln while we finish the body. So for the body, it's pretty much the same thing. You're going to round your stick of color. And this is going to be the bottom of his body. Got a pretty much just a nice smooth round stick. And I'm just going to give him some little feet. So I just stuck two dots, the same color. Need two little feet sticking out the bottom. And I just like to make them flat because it just makes them look cuter. So that's what they should look like sticking out. Tiny little simple feet. And I like to add a little extra detail and give him a little tail just by heating up the very back of him on his booty. And I'll heat it up red hot again. And I'll stick a piece of 3 mil to it outside the flame, and it should sticky tacky. Just stick to it and pull out, and then the 3 mil will just pop off when it cools off enough. And then as it cools off, 3 mil just pops off. And I got a cute little tail. Nice and simple. Just gives him that amount of detail that he needs. stick a cold seal to his butt. And this is about where I decide how long I want his body to be. It needs to be long enough to stick his wings to, so you don't want to make it too short. I make mine about, I'd say about a half inch. Not too long, not too short, but leaving enough space to stick those wings on. to the third step, we're going to make our wings. Again, I'm just heating up that rod, same color, base color, and I just heat it up nice and round again. This time, I'm going to heat it up just like I did the body, but this time I'm going to squish it. And I'll show you exactly what I'm doing in just a second. I just made a nice little flat disc of that color. It's perfectly round, just a little circle. And this is where I'm going to actually start shaping it into a wing. I heat up the first half of it, not the whole thing, just half of it. And I'm going to do that little trick with the 3 mil, stick it to it outside the flame, and pull on it until it's a nice teardrop shape. So it's like a leaf. And it cooled, popped off. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just heating that bottom part of the teardrop. I'm going to heat that up and pull it down. And now you're going to start seeing that bat wing shape. 
but I like to give them that little top claw as well, just that little extra piece of detail that makes your bat look like a bat. Just give them that little top claw coming towards the inside. So this is what I got right now. This is pretty rough. It's not got pointed edges, it's just the base coat. And I like to take a semi-clear color. Right now this is just a sparkly clear blue. And I'm going to use it to give it those little details where the bones are in the bat's wing. And I just do one stripe from that top claw to the inside. Just like that. And then I do a stripe from the top claw to the bottom point. And then a stripe from the top claw to the outside. And now it's really starting to look like a wing. Right now I'm just making those points really pointy. take a little bit of extra color so that you don't mess up your wing. And I'm just going to pull off that extra color there. So now all I have is a cute little bat wing. Ready to stick him onto the body. I'm just going to weld it on, heat up both sides. I'm heating up where I want to stick it on the body, and I'm heating up the edge of the wing that attaches to the body evenly. And once they're both red hot, Stick them together, and slightly pull them apart. And it's just a perfect weld. It's a little body with a little wing. Stick his head on. All we've got left is to put on his other wing. need to make one more wing for him. And you're basically just repeating the exact same process, but before you draw those details, you got to make sure that you flip it the right direction. Because they're going to be mirror images of each other. it the right direction, it just gives you an excuse to make another one. So I'm just making 
making that flat circle again. And I'm heating up half of it. This is a great opportunity to just practice manipulation of the glass. Making our little leaf shape. doesn't have to be perfect. This is just your base coat. So now we drew on this side last time. You have to make sure you're actually drawing on the back side this time because it's going to be the left wing. simple. Gives it that extra amount of detail. Really gives it a cute bat look. Make sure your lines are drawn completely on. And then I'm just going to make sure all my points look really finished. color off that rod to keep yourself from manipulating the wing too much. You want to save that shape. So I'm just removing a little excess color. And there's our left wing. exact same thing that we did when we made the ghost and just melt a piece of 3 mil, slowly let it curve in on itself and make a circle. just to make it as round as possible. We want to make a perfect little donut. The cool thing
thing about the bat is you get to stick the clasp to the bottom so he hangs upside down. Got a super cute bat pendant. So this is the final product, our super cute bat pendant, just in time for Halloween. If you enjoyed making this bat pendant with me, make sure to click that like button. And for more great videos, click that subscribe. Thank you so much.